Hey guys, welcome back for another week of weekly pickups with your host, Polished Gaming. Now, without further ado, we'll get straight into it. Now, this week here, we have got Little Big Planet from Trade Me. This one here was a dollar. Uh, pretty good steal considering that I had the platinum version of this and I sold mine off for seven dollars So to get that for a dollar and add an upgrade from platinum to black label, that's pretty much worth it So that was last week when uh, I uh, he, Well, actually two weeks ago now. He sent it with an envelope pretty crazy They just sent that straight in an envelope first time I've ever had that But uh, he sent it and then it got sent back because he used the wrong stamps Kind of was a bit weird out when he said he used stamps and I was like, okay I've never heard someone using stamps. So yeah Got it for a dollar, came pretty good condition, pretty happy it wouldn't, didn't get crushed along with the uh, envelope, you know. Some people can be a little bit, um, a bit ruthless with envelopes rather than actually courier packages, so, yeah. Uh, next one here, this is from uh, Trade Me, Ash Hislop. Uh, we have got, first one here, NASCAR 09. Now, this one here, it seems to be a little bit of a pricier one, going for about 30, 34, well, 30, 40 bucks. And this one here, I got managed to get it for $10.50. Pretty stoked to get that one off the list. That's all the NASCARs of the power region. There's only two. I believe there's a lot more in the NTC version because uh, it's a very, you know, it's a very um, American orientated sport. So uh, yeah, turning left a lot. Uh, next one here is MotoGP3 that I got for $10. Now this one here was, I actually got MotoGP2 because I have MotoGP3. Uh, Ash messaged me and said that he accidentally sent out MotoGP3 and just give me a message when you get it, if you can send it back. And uh, he basically asked the guy, oh, would I just rather a refund? And I said, well, actually, my one's got a little bit of sun fading on the front and back, so I'd rather upgrade mine. And he just messaged me and said, look, the guy, got, guy took a refund. You keep that as free a freebie, and I've got your GP2 coming out. So next week, it'll be coming out, and I've got GP3 upgrades. So absolutely stoked. Thank you, Ash Hislop, for that one. Uh, now, um, actually, I think his name is Rory. I think his name is Rory Hislop, but he uses Ash Hislop as his, his username. But... Not entirely sure. He's, <laughs> we've never actually been on first term basis. He calls me by my first name, but he's never actually said regards Rory. So I just I just say Ash has lot. <laughs> Next one here is Baldur's Gate. Now I've been after this one for a little bit of time, more for the PS2, but I uh, got it for there, twenty bucks. Pretty stoked with that one there. What's awesome about this one? I did decide to keep the label because right there it says Central Park Interactive. Now in New Zealand, um, we had a few Central Park Interactives. The one that I used to go to was in New Lynn, and um, yeah, and then it turned into a gamesman, and now it's just a warehouse stationery, I believe, or some some emporium. I can't remember. But yeah, 20 bucks, pretty stoked with that one. Good game, Baldur's Gate. Uh, next one here is Kung Fu, um, Kung Fu Kai Impact for Connect. This one's a little bit more of an uncommon one to find. It was going for about 30. I kind of once again refused to pay that. Ash has thought, um, Ash has thought put this one up and um, yeah, pretty stoked with that one. Managed to get it for $9.51. Yeah, I've actually got the, my notes in front of me because I thought with these ones this week, it's not like it's round numbers. Um, I use a bid bud system, so it will, it will um, basically add on a couple of cents and stuff like this just to kind of make the bid um, instead of going up 50 cents or going up a dollar it'll go up three cents and then that way you can win it for like 11 dollars and three cents kind of thing so it's a pretty handy system bit annoying when you're getting bitted out against it but it's pretty fun when it actually works for you so Kung Fu high impact that one's a gem there it's a bit hard to find so I'm happy with that one off the list next one here is uh, Rapala Rapala Pro Fishing or Rapala I'm pretty sure it's Rapala a little bit of kind of sun fading on the side, but not too bad. That one there was $7, so I'm pretty stoked with that. They're actually pretty fun fishing games. I used to like um, Sega Bass Fishing and stuff like that. That was just an amazing game. I um, can't even remember the other one. There was another one that I used to play on PS1, and it was it was crazy. I actually recently played one. I can't actually remember what it is. It's on Xbox One. Um, Dove Jug Challenge, I think it was. Dovetail Challenge, Challenge, I think it was. It's a pretty cool game, though. Pretty cool game. Uh, this one here, From Russia With Love, this one I actually did get it from a while back from Mitchell Cashman, but unfortunately it only came with the EA, um, the, the basically the EA, almost like kind of upcoming EA games or out um, games out at the time, it's basically just a brochure, um, unfortunately I don't think he kind of, he must have thought it was complete but it wasn't, but hey I'm pretty happy to get one out off the list, that one there, seven bucks. So I've got my other one. I'll hopefully sell it off maybe a little bit more. Even if I get the seven bucks, I'm pretty happy with that going back. Uh, this one here is actually a bit of an odd one because I decided to get it purely for the fact that it's the GameStop edition. Now this one is it's not actually registered in uh, the checklist, uh, which I actually found out the other day is 1,201 PAL games. So I think at the moment I'm at 943 or 44. I have to have a little check of that, but I'm 
getting there. I think I'm about 260 something or 250 something away. So it's getting pretty close. But this one here, I got it for that pure reason of GameStop. The DLC is actually in, um, it's right there. My, my, oh, oh, actually, hold on before I do it, just in case the code still works. But yeah, it most likely doesn't work. Uh, all it is is just basically a weapon upgrade. There was actually a Walmart and a GameStop edition from America. So if I can find the Walmart one, I'll be pretty keen to get that. Does actually work on PAL system, so that's a plus. So that one there was three dollars. I wasn't bidding anything like over uh, anything over seven or anything like that. <clears throat> now next one here, Outlaw Golf for the Xbox. This is another one that's um looks pretty fun. I mean, you hear what it says on the back. Where was it? Uh, this ain't your daddy's golf game. Outstanding golf meets strippers, ex-cons, and wannabe rappers. And I was trying to figure out which one out of that is the strippers, ex-cons, and wannabe rappers because they all look the same. <laughs> But yeah, Outlaw Golf looks pretty fun. Managed to pick that one up for $11.51. This one here is a little uncommon title. I have never seen this come up. I didn't even know this was a thing for Xbox 360. I thought this was more Xbox One when they came out with the Sing series. But yeah, everyone's Sing uh, looks kind of fun, you know. Hit some on in Vogue the Saturdays. Billy Ray Cyrus, the Pussycat Dolls, Nicole Scherzinger. I mean, same, same, right? <laughs> She's the lead singer. I know she done her single career, but... It's kind of a bit lame putting them both like that. All Saints, Salt and Pepper, Ali Goulding, Razorlight, Boyzone, The Wanted, Sugar Babes, Lionel Richie, Rizzle, Rizzle Kicks, and many more. Looks quite fun. I do like sing games. Sing games. I like sing Star. Trying to go for a full set of that. So, yeah, this one's cool to knock off the list. And this one here was a little bit more pricey at 22 bucks, But I want to pay it because I've never seen it come up. And I think it goes to around about 16 to 20 areas anyway. So I, I didn't mind paying that kind of price. Uh, next one here is Scalar. That one is $10. Um, yeah, yeah, basically it's um, pretty good condition, this one. And I've got this on PS2 as well. That's a good score there. Uh, IndyCar, 2000 and, IndyCar Series 2005. Now this one here is $10.31, weirdly enough. $10.31, but pretty cool to have that one. Um, that, uh, don't mind IndyCar, not too, <laughs> not too fast. I like Formula One, but don't really watch too much in IndyCar. Our next one here is SSX on tour. Now this, uh, I think this completes my set of SSX, but unfortunately with this one, I will be going for an upgrade because it is all in German on the back. See, this is the problem with Peggy ones. You can't really see if it's German, Spanish, unless someone flips it around. I could ask for it, but it's on dollar reserve auctions. You know what I mean? $10.57, it's not too bad to put that on the shelf and then later on replace it. Now I'm not those type of people. I'm pretty transparent on mine, so I will most likely show the back and say that it is uh, German. Cool part about it, everything's in English. You can choose a language. So everything comes up, SSX on tour, nothing's in German when it intros, no, nothing is. It's just exactly the same, but all the backers and all the manual. I think really I was basically putting this in and then I realised I'm like, wow, that is not English. <laughs> but yeah, happy to add that to the list, but like I say, I will get an upgrade on that later on. Uh, next one here is a bundle from, uh, oh, what was his name? Highly Suspect. Now, Highly Suspect here, um, yeah, I, I kind of picked this one up for the pure reason that it's actually not a bad game. I, I have played it. I've got it on the Switch, and now I've got it on the Xbox. I got this because um, I wasn't really going to bid high on it, but what did I get it for? I got it for $5.50. So pretty stoked to get an Xbox Series X game. Uh, what actually cracks me up is these are just... I don't realise the cheapness of it. I guess it's kind of the jump from Xbox One to Xbox Series X when they're... Um, the cases and stuff and i didn't realize this but yeah okay you've got your leaflet that's xbox series x and xbox one but over here this little logo here that's just a sticker it's an xbox one case just with that sticker there i don't know that's kind of cheap from a multi-billion dollar company but ah who cares that's all good i'm pretty happy with that five dollars fifty takes off the list there next one here is monster jam uh, monster jam steel titans now these games tend to go for a little bit pricier kind of sometimes something you can look up the price on these ones, uh, Monster Jam for the 360 is a bit pricey. I've seen it go for up to $60, so I still don't have that one, so it's a bit annoying that I will have to pay for that. But yeah, Monster Jam Steel Titans, pretty fun little game. I do like the Monster Jam games. I do like just racing around in monster trucks. Uh, next one here, Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, this one is another $10 game. Actually, a lot of these games, I, I'm pretty sure it's... Is it $10? Yeah, it's $10. All these games I pretty much got from $10, so I'm highly suspect, because he had a $10 no reserve, and... Yeah, so I just grabbed them. I thought it's pretty cool. I do like Need for Speed. I think I've got a few Need for Speeds on Wii. Actually, do I? Oh, yeah, I got one. I got Pro Street. So, Carbon adds to the list. Uh, next one here is Worms Battlegrounds. This is the last that I need for the set of Worms on Xbox One. 
that's pretty happy to add that. Ten dollars. Do love worm games. Uh, MotoGP 19. I'm starting to like kind of get a thing for biking the MotoGP games and the what's the other one that's like that? Ah, oh, it's oh SBK Superbike. Yeah, Superbike. Um, SBK and stuff. But I started to get. I, I just want to collect all of them and like. Just for the Xbox One, and actually, no, nah, I, I say that, and I've literally got it for the Xbox Original, PlayStation, I've got it for everything. I, I collect everything. I think you've kind of known that by now if you've been tuning in for long enough. Yeah, $10. Happy to have that one. Uh, this one here is the Doom Slayers Collection. Now, this one here, the only difference between the Doom Edition, I've got the Doom, I've got Doom, I've got Doom UAC Edition, I've got, I think, another Doom Eternal, and now I've got Doom Slayer. Actually, I don't know if I have Doom Eternal, but I've got Doom Slayer's collection. The only difference to this one is there's no DLC. It's exactly the same. See? What was that? That joke? Oh, can you find wood? But yeah, um, I mean, all it comes with is just a code for the Slayer's collection, which includes Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3. So that's pretty cool. Like, if that code still works, most likely doesn't. But I consider it complete, unless you're going for a seal, you're probably most likely not going to get the DLC to work anyway, it's already been used. Most people will get these because they bought the edition to use a DLC, so they'll get them and just use them straight away. So yeah, it just comes with a Doom game poster as well, and um, and the DLC for Doom 1 and that. Now these, um, these last couple of games are actually pretty cool to camp, I haven't actually got many pickups of them recently like this, so Dreamcast. Now this one here was from Mr. Mystery. Now Mr. Mystery has not come back... It's been years since I've seen him on Trade Me. He sold quite a lot of stuff. Now, I drove all the way out to his house one time because I picked up a big bundle deal. That, well, for Sega Master System, I think it was. It was actually quite cheap at the time, too. What The games I got were like $10, $20, $15, dollars, stuff like this. Now they're about $40, $50. So, um, yeah, I went out to him. And it was a long drive. And basically, I had a message guys like, he's like, do you want to pick up? It's fragile. And I was like, look, dude, you live all the way in Flatbush. He's like, nah, man, I live out in Pocono now, which is even further. So I'm like... Now, nah, can you just package it up? I'm happy to pay extras, and it came all good. The only problem with this one is it does a couple of the couple of the spindles in here are just broken. Now, these are chronic problems with these ones, and actually, I can see it floating around in there. So, oh, yeah, it just fell out. So, yeah, it's pretty much, um, they always do their spindles, same as PlayStation 1. It's very hard to get them complete, but still. Happy to have that. Now that one there was a little bit expensive at 87, but it normally sits around about the 130 range, surprisingly. So happy to knock that off the list. <clears throat> now this one here, I've been after for ages. And like uh, one of the NZ Retro people said, um, they said it's a very cheap price. I know it was a cheap price. I knew straight away the moment that it came up for $30. Tenchu Stealth Assassins. These ones normally sit around about, hover about the 50 to 70 range. Now I don't understand why. The game is great. It was mass produced. It's not that much of a hidden gem, but this game, I love this game. The, the music that came with this, me and my mate used to, I uh, mean, my mate Steve, we used to, uh, he, he he probably actually remembers the code to this day, but basically opening the debug menu, and then you just add in heaps of bombs, heaps of everything you want, throwing those shurikens, whatever you want, and then you just go to town on everyone. Cool game, cool game, really like it. Still on the lookout for Tenchu 2, but got a couple of Tenchu games on, I think on the PS2 or Xbox, I can't remember, I have to have a look at that one. And uh, that one there was, sorry, I'll pull it back up again, because that was from Jack Flood of NZ Retro. So thanks, Jack, for that one. Much appreciated with the good uh, good condition and the and the price. This one here is, this one is from Dale Wilson, Judge Dredd. Now, this one here is, um, I've actually never played Judge Dredd, but I do remember it back in the day. Um, looks like it's a relatively all good platformer. The movie, <laughs> I used to like the movie, to be honest. I mean, some of it. Some of it's a bit boring, but the um, oh, like the whole just Stallone, Stallone voice and just just hilarious. But out of all the Stallone movies, this is probably one of my least liked ones. Probably one of my favorites is Demolition Man, but I don't know if you know about Demolition. I think Demolition Man is super expensive for the Mega Drive, but happy to have Judge Dredd out there get another Stone Stallone classic done and dusted. <clears throat> now this last one was a marketplace find. I haven't been. I haven't been hunting for this, but I've always known about the special edition and I've always wanted it because it came with an LP. Now, finding it complete good condition normally sits around about the 100 range. So I was absolutely stoked to pick this beauty up for $30 off Facebook Marketplace. And, I don't know if you can see that, but that's sealed. Completely sealed Xbox 360 Bioshock 2 limited edition, special edition. This comes with heaps on it. It comes with... Bioshock 2 art book, uh, which I think 
The limited edition came with the app book as well. Authentic 12 inch vinyl LP with the original Bioshock orchestral score. Audio CD with a Bioshock 2 orchestral score and three vintage Rapture advertisements. Oh, and a quality collector box as well. Oh uh, yeah, it's got a little butterfly. I'm not sure if you can actually see the back there, but you can, yeah, yeah maybe I'll get a bit closer. So hopefully that does work, but absolutely stoked with this. Like, yes, there are a couple of rips in there, but I'd still consider it sealed. It's never been touched inside, so that's a new that's new in my eyes. Um, this week um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up in the description. Uh, I've got th I'll have three links in the description this week. If anyone's really interested, it's basically a link to my News Hub article that I had with uh, TVNZ and my Radio New Zealand. Um, Sit down with Radio New Zealand, well, uh, Radio New Zealand interview for uh, the 30th, 35th uh, anniversary of Game Boy. And my other one will be the from the BBC Coventry and Warwickshire um, radio station. That one there will, yep, yeah, I'll put them all up. I'll put the time, I can't actually timestamp them, but I will put up the right next to it exactly what part you skip to where I'm on it. Some of like, I have to say, the Radio New Zealand one was just very straight. Onto, onto me in the interview, but the one before the, I mean, the BBC one, actually has quite a lot of cool stuff before it. It does kind of flake off a little bit from retro gaming to talking about some other stuff, but then it goes back to me again. But with this, with the original, with the people talking before, I think they've got a guy from Codemasters. Now, this is Codemasters back in the day with Colin McRae Codemasters. So it was pretty cool, like, that they um, got, actually it is, nah, I, now I need to check it because my brain's not working on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Colin McRae. It is Codemasters. And the guy actually came on, and he was talking. And it's just cool to hear him, like, talk about stuff, about how the gaming was, like, like that in the 90s and how to code in the 90s and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was actually a pretty cool watch. Um, But like I say, I will put those in the description. If you want to have a look through there, absolutely go for it. It's a, it's not rivet entertainment. Um, well, yeah, it's not, it's not riveting. Riveting entertainment. Should I say not rivet. Uh, riveting entertainment, but... Hey, I'm pretty happy to get my name out there, push it out there, push the channel out there. Um, hopefully, I keep saying that I'm going to do more videos. I really am going to do more videos. I've just got to get a better setup, uh, probably a better camera. I I've taken off the mic this week for the pure reason last week it was quite staticky at high pitch. It was quite it, the pitch correction was crazy on it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if anyone thinks that maybe I should go back to it. Um, I'm going to leave it off for now until I kind of iron out the the high pitched point because once it gets crackly at high pitch it just really puts me off and it makes me kind of I don't know not really like the videos too much almost to the point of cutting it and editing it but I haven't got around to any of that but I have got something this week called cat cut so gonna give that a go and let's uh go from there and see hopefully we can get a better video for this weekend a little bit better the lighting is still not the best because a ring light is literally just sitting on a chair um the tripod is uh, that I'm using is for the camera is was the original tripod for the ring light but it broke so yeah, that's me for the week. Um, I've hopefully got that bundle come from Sam Mudway next week. That's all paid up. So I'm hoping, and uh, Tyler, if you're watching this, I'm real sorry that I haven't contacted you in regards to these two games that I was wanting to get off you. It has been a bit of a, I wouldn't say a struggle in terms of cash. I just keep buying stuff. I keep buying things that I keep just putting it on the back burner of you. And But this week I'm hoping to come to you and I'll message you. Hopefully you've still got the games that I was after. If you have, that's awesome. I will definitely contact you this week. I'm hoping to at least pick one of those games up. So, yeah. Um, next week should be a bit fun. See what we got. Hopefully you tune in for next week. Uh, but, but for now, that's it. And, um, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you later.